Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Quran warning against being heedless of the hereafter. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Remember your, word, your Lord and worldly, in all humility and all without raising your voice in the morning and in the evenings. Do not be one of the heedless. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Being neglectful and heedless of the hereafter is a severe fault as it makes a man forget the duty for which he was created. To worship the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and develop the universe. The Almighty Allah said, I created jinn and mankind only to worship me. Allah also said, it was he who brought you into being from the earth and made you inhabited. This is what, that's why the Almighty Allah has warned humans against being heedless and neglectful. Even before creating them, as the Almighty Allah said, Remember, remember when your Lord took out the offspring from the, of the children of Adam and made them bear witness about themselves. He said, Am I not your Lord? And they replied, Yes, we bear witness, so you cannot say on the day of resurrection we were not aware on, on this. In another verse, the Almighty Allah warned again is being heedless of the hereafter, saying, Do not yield to those whose heart we have made heedless of our Quran, those who follow their own low desires, those whose ways are abandoned. Allah also said, on that day, the evil doer will bite on his own hand. Very important this. Allah said, on that day, the evil doer will bite in his own hand and say, if only I had taken the same bath as the messenger, woe is me. If only I had not taken so and so as a friend, he led me away from the revelation after it reached me. Satan has always betrayed mankind. People who are heedless of the hereafter do not benefit their organ that Allah made as a mean to get guidance, knowledge, and understanding. Their hearts do not realize the truth. Their eyes do not see the sign of the presence of Allah. And their ears do not Hear what is useful in a matter of religion. The Almighty Allah said, We have created many jinn and people who are dis disdained for hell. With heart they don't use for comprehension. Eyes they don't use for sight. Ears they don't use for hearing. They are like a cattle, no even further stray. They are the ones who they are entirely heedless. Allah also said, I will keep distracted from sign those who behave wrong, wrongly on earth without any right. I will keep distracted from my sign those who behave wrong, wrongly on earth without any right. And who even if they see every sign would not believe in them. They will not take that. This is because they denied our sign and bade them no heed. In another verse, Allah said, These are people whose heart, hearing, and sight have been closed by, off by Allah. They are heedless. The Almighty Allah has threatened those who are unaware of the afterlife with painful torment. The Almighty Allah says, those who do not expect to meet us and are pleased with the life of this world, 
contenting themselves with it and paying no heed to our sign shall have the fire for their home because of that they used to do. Allah also said, and warn them of the day of the great, when all matters will be settled while they are in a heedlessness and disbelief. The Almighty Allah also said, when the true promise draw near, the disbelievers' eyes will stare in terror, and they will say, Woe to us! We were not aware of this at all. We were wrong. Woe to us! We were not aware of this at all. We were wrong. The treatment of being heedless is by mentioning in the name of Allah the Almighty, reading the Quran and doing more good things. The Almighty Allah said, Remember your Lord and worldly in all humility and all without raising your voice in the mornings and in the evenings. Do not be one of the heedless. He, glory be to him, said, we send down the Quran as a healing and a mercy to those who believe. The Prophet wasallam has said, if anyone prays at night reciting regularly 10 verses, he would not be recorded among the heedless. When a true believer feels that he become heedless, and neglectful of the hereafter for a while. He rushes to make repentance to Allah. Ah, the Almighty said, Indeed, when a sudden whisper to those mindful of Allah, they remember their Lord, then they start to see things clearly. Allah also said, Those who remember Allah and implore forgiveness for their sins, if they do something shameful or wrong themselves, who forgives sins but Allah, and who never knowingly persist in doing wrong, the reward of such people is forgiveness from the Lord. And gardens graced with the flowing streams where they will remain, how excellent is the reward for those who work righteousness. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. A wise person. A wise person should be aware of all matters of his religion and life. He would not suddenly face punishment of Allah, which makes him regret. The Almighty Allah said, Lost indeed are those who deny the meeting of the Lord until when the hour suddenly arrives. Then say, they will bear their burden in their back. How terrible those burdens will be. Allah also said, so when they had forgotten the warning they had received, we opened the gates to everything for them. Then Adi revealed in what they had been given. We struck them suddenly, and they were dumb, dumbfounded, and they were be dumbfounded. Allah also said, Are they so sure that an overwhelming punishment from Allah would not fail on them, or that the last hour would not come upon them suddenly? When they least expect it, Allah also said, Follow the best teachings sent down to you from your Lord before the punishment suddenly takes you. And your soul says, Woe is me for having neglected what is due to God and having been one of these who scoffed. Or it says, If God had guided me, I would have joined the righteous. Or faced by punishment, it says, if only I could have another chance, I would join those who do good. How much we need to be mindful and avoid heedlessness in order to enrich our lives with the good deeds and get prepared to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of resurrection, which will come suddenly, Allah the Most High said, They ask you, Prophet, they ask you, Prophet, about the hour. When will it happen? Say, my Lord alone has a knowledge of it. 
He alone will reveal when its time will come. A time that a monument in, in, a both, in both heaven and earth. All too suddenly it will come upon you. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us from the heedless of the hereafter. And to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.